Hey everyone, I am so glad you are here. Tonight we are going to be doing some vinyl wraps on the Ink Joy gel pen. I haven't done a pen tutorial in quite a while, so I am glad you are here. If you are here live, let me know that you can hear me and where you're watching from. And if you are on the replay, definitely comment. Let me know that you're here on the replay. And um, just remember there are timestamps on the bottom so you can skip around to any parts that you want to see. I am going to hope that everybody gets on here soon and can hear me. Hi, Lori. Hi, Tanya. It's good to see you. Um, hi, Miriam and Lupe. Claudia, hello, hello. So glad you guys are all here. I think it seems like the tech is working just fine. Janet, Nil Marie. Awesome. Okay, I hope you guys are having or having a good week so far. It's Monday. Um, happy Monday. Um, it's Chrissy's first time live from Michigan. Hello, Leslie and Yasmin and Sue and Janet and awesome. Okay, Lisa. Wow, wait, there's so many of you. Okay, hi. All right, so. Today we're going to be doing some vinyl wraps. I am using the Ink Joy gel pen. These are, um, I sanded them and then I spray painted them like a long time ago. So they've been just sitting for a while. Just make sure if you do use spray paint, um, you let it sit for 48 hours and then you can move on with the process. Um, I've got three pens and I've got th a few different glitters and a few different vinyls. So this is um, pattern vinyl, printed vinyl from North 80, and I'm absolutely obsessed with her vinyls. Like, she does the designs, and then, like, I don't know if she prints them or whatever, but, like, they're super unique and super pretty. Highly recommend checking her out. I'm going to be using glitter from the Glitter Heart Company and Glitzy Creations, um, in sort of a combo with these. So what I was thinking, and you guys can let me know in the chat what you think, I was going to do two of them, just like a traditional wrap around, and we can do some glitter on the top and the bottom. And then I thought for this buffalo plaid, maybe if you guys are up for it, we could attempt like a little V split situation. I've never done that on a pen before, but it sounds kind of fun. So let me know what you think um, about that. I think it could be fun. Um, hi, Emily from Utah. Oh, Janet says it's Tuesday in Australia. That it is. I hope you're having a great Tuesday so far. Kaylin is from Florida. Hi, Abigail. Hi, Lisa. Azaneta. I'm glad YouTube said something. Sometimes it's weird. Um, okay. So when you're doing wraps, you will want to use a, here it is, a tape measure. Um, just because you just know, like, it's going to be a little bit different if you have glitter on there first. Um, if you want, like, if you had this glittered and smooth, then you're going to want to measure it again because it's going to be a different, like, width um, than if you had no glitter. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Um, the only thing about being home with a sick kiddo, aw, is to be able to be on the live. Well, hopefully the sickness is short-lived and it's just not so bad for you. Okay, so if I wrap this around, it's a little bit less than, whoops, one, than one and a half, um, inches like just about one and a half, there will be a little bit of overlap at that, um, at that mark, but I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to cut it at one and a half, and then I do want to have some glitter on the top and the bottom, so I am going to leave a little space. So I think I'm going to do about four and a quarter. Um, but there's no, like, one size fits all. You can do it longer. You could do it shorter. I'm going to go one and a half by 
four and a quarter. You can use your cutting machine to cut this. Like if you were in Cricut or in Silhouette, you could um, draw a rectangle and have your machine cut it. But I, since I'm sitting here with you, um, am going to cut the two of these out at that four and a quarter and um, inch and a half. So this way is gonna be an inch and a half. You guys remember last time I messed up my vinyl orientation, my other Halloween vinyl, if you guys were here. So that's inch and a half. And I'm going to cut off this little bit on the top. And I'm gonna do four and a quarter this way. Oops, I almost just sliced my finger. Okay, so that will go around this like so. Um, my pens um, are just prepped and painted. They just have spray paint on them. They do not have any glitter on them. I'm gonna put glitter on second, but you could um, put glitter on first if you wanted and get it completely smooth and then just add your vinyl. Like, it's totally fine either way. So I'm gonna do this one the same, about an inch and a half. And four and a quarter. So I'm gonna use these two. And then we will, I think you guys said you were okay with the, uh, the V split situation. We will cut that one later. We'll see how this, these two go first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, just make sure, yeah, I probably could have done it a little bit longer. I maybe would have done a little bit longer next time, but that's okay. All right, and these will, this will overlap just a little bit, but I'm gonna put glitter on the ends, so it'll be just fine. Um, I don't really need to use transfer tape, but I think I'm going to use transfer tape. I don't know. Well, we can just, we could just try our best here. Okay, so I'm gonna use my little squeegee tool and put my pen right here. Zoom in a little bit again. So you can actually see this. Okay, so this is just like a Halloween. I thought this purple glitter would go well with it. I'm not, I'm not going to use um, transfer tape, but you can use transfer tape. I'm just going to peel this backing up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try to get this on as straight as possible. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my other tutorials on using the wet method, but you also may want to try to use the wet method um, when doing vinyl because, so I'm going to cut off this little backing piece. hard with it so small it doesn't have to be perfect okay it's just so you can um, get the vinyl down uh, so anyway the wet method helps um, there be no bubbles so that is something to consider when doing a vinyl wrap is that you may want to use the wet method it does have to dry before um, any like you remove it like it, it has to dry before you remove the vinyl so I'm not gonna do it now because we don't have time for that um, but I got this on and I feel like it's a little crooked but that's okay we'll we're gonna just do our best and then I'm just going to lift that backing away 
and just wrap this vinyl around. I'm gonna use my squeegee tool as I go to hopefully minimize any bubbles in the process. Just kind of gonna use my finger. We're gonna hope for the best here. This isn't, it's a little harder than tumblers because it's so small. Like, that lined up pretty good. I did, I did pretty good there. Okay, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Not bad. And I'm just going to kind of take my fingers and get it all the way flat. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> I have a little bubble right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to just try to fix it. So let me know in the chat if you guys have made pens, if you've made vinyl pens, like vinyl wraps for pens. So these are just um, pattern vinyl that I bought, but you could do like the same kind of thing with water slides or printable vinyl or like stickers tattoos like you could kind of do all of it in the same way there's no reason why it has to be printed vinyl i do have a tutorial on using um making a water slide wrap but i would just measure it in kind of the same way um that you have that I measured this one here today. Okay, so there's one. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, and I'm just going to let it hang on my little drying rack here. And I'm going to move on to the other one that I'm going to do. And then we can put on some glitter. I am I think I'm going to try to use some transfer tape on this one and see if I can get it to work a little bit better. See if it gives me any more control. Okay, Lainey has done pens with the glitter on the inside. Yes, those are fun to do. Those are definitely fun to do. Um, Jesse has watched lots of tutorials but haven't hasn't dove in yet. Jamie says she could not get them smooth. You know. Definitely, just like tumblers, getting your glitter nice and flat is super important. And then it's also like sanding is a little bit harder, like because it's like just so small. So you just kind of have to be careful with your sanding. And then um, sometimes I like to put it on something like this and sand it while it's like on the table. It just seems to, I don't know, work a little bit better for me. Um, okay. I was using the, I was making the crayon pens using the template from your site. Oh yeah, I do have some templates on my website, um, which you can get for free. Um, so highly recommend checking that out. And she said she learned the hard way to measure. Yeah, you know, it takes practice. So I definitely don't need transfer tape on this, but maybe peeling it off the backing first um, would be helpful. It's def And then just kind of like placing it as straight as you can. It seems to be going on a little bit better that way. Maybe I'll just take the transfer tape off now. Um, okay, Lisa couldn't find the insides. I have a whole cup of pen, like, the pen insides. I have a whole cup of them. Because I'm like, well, I've, like, lost some tops, but then I'll just, like, or, like, bottoms, I guess. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just, like, grab, may open a new one. And then, so I just have this, like, ongoing, um cup. Um, one water slide and one clear cast. We haven't finished them yet. Sandy 
If you have a water slide or a clear cast on them, you've got to be almost done. It shouldn't take too long to finish those up. Okay. All right, so this vinyl super cute. Some like fall florals. Okay, so let's put some glitter on the ends of these really fast and then we will move into the v-split it's going pretty quickly huh so i probably like would use washi tape because it's smaller but i don't have any nearby um let's see i've done the bumblegum bead pens and the floating glitter pens oh, i love the floating glitter pens that's like one of my first tutorials on this channel is a floating glitter pen and um, I'm obsessed with them. I haven't made them in a really long time, but I should. Okay, where do you get the bead? Ooh, check out um, Creepsakes shop, Creepsakes. She has the bubblegum bead pens, she's got the floating pens, she's got beads, she's got everything. I would check her out. Got a little fold that I gotta fix on this one. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm new to bright tone, so I've just been doing cups. Well, the the good news is that the process for pens is the same as a cup, so that's the good news. I'm just gonna tape off because I want there to be um, a hard line because once it's smooth, I'm gonna put little vinyl strips um, at the seams. So I'm just using painter's tape. Around just to keep the lines clean. We'll do this number one. And number two. Yeah, I think she just got some new beads in, too, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I feel like she did just get a couple new. She has, like, themed, like, packs. You can buy, like, you know, ten beads or whatever. Like, they're not all the same color, but they all coordinate together. And she's got really good prices, so I would definitely check it out. Okay, so... I do not have any paper here. That's a bummer. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I like forgot we were doing glitter, so no. Hi, Sue. Glad to see you. We are about to put glitter on our pens um, that we have wrapped in printed vinyl. And then I just put some painter's tape on here. And I'm going to put some glitter on. So this hollow, I'm going to use bright tone to do my glitter on this Halloween one. I am going to use this purple iris from Glitzy Creation. <laughs> Sue, you're funny. Um, okay, let me find a brush. I just had it. Okay, right here. And you'll need like, <laughs> I'm doing like the tiniest little speck of glitter, right? So I just need like the teeniest, tiniest little bit of bright tone. But you want to make sure that you have enough on there because it would be really great if I could get away with doing just one coat of glitter. Um, so you just want to kind of also bring your brush. Like I like to use my brush, but if you're using your finger or whatever, um, just bring it up over like on this top edge too so you don't miss that part. And I'm going to just sprinkle on my glitter. You could also base coat um, first, like I could have painted this purple, and then 
gone in with my glitter because that would help too. Make sure you just need one coat, but I'll probably just do two. Make sure that when you're doing your pens, you have like paper underneath because since they're so small, like a lot of glitter like will fall past your pen. So you want to make sure that you um, have it, you know, so you can save it. So that's what that will look like. And I'll probably put a little strip of purple vinyl um once it's smooth, here, I'll pull this one off so you can see. You don't have to pull the tape right away by any means. I'm only doing this so I can show you. Oops. See, I just kind of took off some of that purple. I might try to touch this up a little bit. Normally I let it dry completely before I remove any tape or anything, but I just wanted to show you. Um, okay, so here's what this one looks like. And then I will um, do coats of bright tone. Eventually it will be smooth. So um, somebody asked, who asked, will there be a bump? Um, where the glitter meets the vinyl, it will take a little while for that to get smooth. So what you're going to do is I would bright tone the whole thing, do your coats, and then when it's time to do your first sand, only sand the ends where there's glitter, and then keep going with your bright tone. That will help it sort of get smooth all together faster. Okay? So that's number one. I think the purple looks cute with that. I'll probably do like a purple, like a Maybe a dark purple vinyl. I'm not sure. But I guess the goal will be to have that pen done ASAP because Halloween is going to be here before we know it. It's like already almost October. The 80 degree weather today did not uh, does not feel like fall here, which is weird. Um, I, For those of you who don't know, I live in Illinois, um, north of Chicago, like pretty much between Chicago and the Wisconsin border. And like, it's weird that it's so warm. It's just, yeah. Okay, so now I've got these like fall florals and I was thinking about doing this glitter called Chestnut. I think that will be like a cute fall pen. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna do the same thing. And you can, again, you can use Bright Tone. You can use glitter glue. You can apply with the brush. You can apply with your finger. Um, oops. You may want to have a matching base coat um, before you add your glitter. Just It just helps it, you know, just get down to one, ideally one coat of glitter, but you can always do a second coat if you need it. I'm getting a little purple glitter on here. I think I'm just... I'm, I'm just making these pens for, like, me and for the live stream, so it's, like, fine. Um, okay, so, hi, Jen. Jen is here. Rhonda's here. Um, Jen is making tumblers and pens. I think pens are fun. You don't use a lot of product, you know. They, they're the same. It's the same process. Um, same process, so it's nice to... To do them. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom. I was, when I was in Texas 60 in the morning. Yeah, the other day I w was looking at the weather, or no, I asked, um, you know who my A-L-E-X-A, -E you know? I asked her what the weather is, and the other day she was like, today you will get a high of 84 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. I was like, 
excuse me? Um, okay, will you try to smush the ends? Yes, I will. So once this gets dry, I will roll it in parchment paper. And then in this particular one, it's looking like I'm going to need a second coat, and that's fine. So I will go in with a second coat um, with my glitter glue. Okay, so I'm going to let it dry. Since I use Bright Tone, it'll be four hours but that'll also be tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna roll it in parchment paper just like I would a tumbler. I actually think the pens are a little easier because you can kind of like push them down as like, I don't know, you can just get a little bit more um, force on your pen. And then I will do a second coat if I need it, which I think I will because I had that white base. Um, and then I always apply my second coat of glitter with the glitter glue. And then I let that dry for two hours. I will roll it in parchment paper again, and then I will do one coat of glitter glue on top, roll it again, right? There's no such thing as too much rolling and flattening your glitter. So I usually do it before the second coat and after the second coat, and then I will move on with my coats of Bright Tone. And then just a reminder, I'll do Bright Tone over the whole pen, and when it comes time to sand, I'll just sand over the glitter. Um, until it is completely smooth enough for me to put like little vinyl strips um, where the, the edges meet. Okay, let's try to do this whole V-split situation. What do you guys think? I think it could be fun. Never done it. Never done it on a pen. I've never done it on a pen. So I was thinking... Let's not spill that. I was thinking, let me know what you guys think about this, about doing like a V, a V split with this at an angle and then we can do like two strips of glitter, although, oh, I do have it, yes, I'll show you. Okay, I'm ready. You guys, you guys in for the V split? Let's measure where I want this V, oops, V split to go. I think I want it to go like three, let's go three and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep the vinyl like close to the top. So I think about three and a half inches. So three and a half inches from the corner. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to like make this up here. Okay. Three and a half inches from the corner gets me to about here, which means I need to cut it here. Wait, I have an idea. We are just going to estimate here um, because we're just having fun, right? Okay. So I want to cut this at about three and a half inches. So that'll be like right here ish. So I'm like measuring, like, to, I'm trying to keep this straight. You guys can't even see, but I'm trying to keep that straight. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so then this will come right here. Oh, I didn't really think about how much this is going to overlap. I think it doesn't give much of a V. All right, we're going to trim this a little bit and hold and see what happens. We're going to like make a little bit more of a dramatic V. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna go a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, and I will explain my thought process. So basically, these are gonna overlap, right? And if I trim this, like in the back then, there's like not, um, there's not a whole lot of like V going on, because, just because the pen is so little, you know? So I am going to just take this V in a little bit more. I like making this up, so. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. See? See, now it will overlap and kind of give enough. Like, it'll give enough to have two different color glitters on the back. You see what I mean? I'm going to just go. Like that. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Am I rambling? <gasps> I think I'm rambling. Okay. So, I just wanted there to be, like, enough space for my glitter to show. You know, I'm going to do... I was thinking about doing this um kind of like teal aqua whatever color and black what do you guys think um oh miss beginning that's okay um it'll be up the replay will be up it's, it usually just takes a couple of minutes before it to um get up there okay i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try to do this without any transfer tape as well gonna hope for the best I'm kind of using like the little dots on the pen if you guys have done these pens you'll like you'll know that <laughs> there are these little dots on there and I'm assuming they're in a straight line so I'm kind of using that um, as a guide but normally I'd be standing up and like on top of um, my work but I can't really do that now so Okay. Ooh, I think that's going to be crooked. That's fine. Okay, sorry. All right, so there's my V. I'm going to have to trim around the top a little bit just because... It wasn't perfect, that's okay. So I'm just gonna take my knife and just lightly trim around the top. I might add some glitter like on that top part. I don't know. So then to do the actual V split, I am going to use this washi tape. So I'm just lining it up with the um, vinyl. And this washi tape, I honestly, I don't know where it's from, probably Michael's. Um, most of you probably don't know this about me, but I used to be, like, really intensely into, I need a longer piece, um, planning, like, my planner and decorating my planner and making stickers and doing all of that. Um, so I have all of this washi, like, I have a weird amount of wash washi tape because of that. So, you can use any tape. Any tape is fine. You could also use vinyl strips if you don't have tape thin enough. Um, you can use vinyl strips to do it. Okay, I'm just going to trim a 
the tape so it comes down at a nice point. Oops. Okay, and I'm gonna do okay, because I I'm gonna be kind of like fallish, so I'm gonna do um maybe I'll do these two colors. This is kind of like a rose gold and a teal, or I could do this like rusty in the teal. What do you guys think? Which colors? I'm going to do, this one's called Sea Turtle. I'm going to do that one. Should I do Rusty with it? I could go back to the chestnut that we already used. Or I can use, this is called Sweetheart, which is more of like a rose gold. Oh, we've got another planner sticker fan. I don't really do it too much anymore, but I used to. Okay, what do you guys think? What color combo do you guys think? Rose gold. All right. Okay. We are going to do the rose gold and the sea turtle. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the sea turtle right now, but we will at least do, I'm just gonna dip my, okay, you guys, I'm literally just gonna dip my finger in this bright tone and do this, because this space is really small. So I'm just gonna dip my finger And do it that way. All right. Oh, my hands are full of bright tone. Okay, that's fine. So I could do, I don't know what I'm going to do up at the top here, but I could do rose gold. That coverage looks pretty good. So then I'm not going to do it right now, just especially because this space is so small. But I'm going to let this dry. And then I will go in with like a little brush to um, fill in this white space right here with the teal. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna look pretty good. I'll try to finish it tomorrow and then make sure that you are following me on Instagram and I will share how it looks. But that's, that's where we're at so far. I like it. What do you guys think? I think the teal is going to look pretty cool in there. I think white would look good too. Silver would look good. I'm going for a fall vibe plaid. And then maybe I'll do, since I have obviously more, maybe I'll do a Christmas one one of these days too. It looks a little bit more brown, but it's definitely pretty rose gold. Okay, do you guys have any questions? This one too, kind of like the other ones. So, um, like this one, like this is the other one we did. I haven't taken the tape off yet, but once they get smooth, I will put vinyl strips like where the glitter meets. So just to give it like a little bit cleaner of a look. Like I think that the vinyl strips kind of pull it together. So that's what I'm going to do. But once it's smooth, can't add your vinyl until it's smooth. Otherwise, it'll show all of the bumps and imperfections. Mary has made a pineapple and watermelon pen. That sounds fun. Okay, do you guys have any other um, questions? I will. Re let me review what colors we used and the vinyls that we used. Um, 
just in case you want to, you know, if you want to grab some. Um, this last one was Sweetheart, and I'm going to put Sea Turtle next to it with the vinyl. Um, this one, again, the vinyl is all from the same place. It's called North 80, and it's on Etsy. I have it linked in the description. And this one is called Chestnut. I have a couple other t uh, fall tumblers on my channel, so that's kind of where all of these glitters came from. And then I used Purple Iris from Glitzy Creations on this one that'll be more of a Halloween pen. Um, Denise asked if this is permanent vinyl or can you use remo removable? This is permanent vinyl but you can use removable. I will be um, adding bright tone to the top of this. So since I'm gonna be sealing on top, it doesn't matter if it's permanent or removable. If you were gonna just like just put vinyl on a pen and not do anything else, you'd want it to be permanent. Any other questions? Tomorrow I have a bonus video, so a bonus tutorial tomorrow evening um, will be about sublimation tumblers and then adding Crystalac to your sublimation tumblers and it will be set up as a premiere. So it's not like a normal video. It's, it's a pre-recorded video and I upload it like any normal one, but there's like a live chat um, that I will be at when the video goes live. So it's like, it's not a live stream, but it's pre-recorded, but there is kind of like a live chat right when it um, goes live. So like at 6 p.m., I'll be in the chat if you guys have any questions. But yeah, tomorrow's bonus video is all about um, sublimation tumblers and using Crystalac on top of them. And Thursday's video will be um, kind of a little bit about my story about switching from epoxy to Crystalac. So um, be on the lookout for those. If you are not on my email list, make sure you are on it. I send emails every Tuesday, so the next one will go out tomorrow. There's a link in the description. I'm working on getting together um, my Tumblr course and community group where people can learn how to make tumblers. We're going to have monthly Zoom calls and stuff like that. So there's a wait list on my website for that as well if you are interested. And make sure you connect with me on Instagram because I will show you how these pens turn out over on Instagram. And you can always let me know what sort of live stream demos you want. I don't think I have anything planned for next week. So if there's anything you want to see, make sure you send me a message um, on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and everything goes wonderfully awesome this whole week for you. And I will see you next week, tomorrow. Um, definitely hop on when um, it goes live. If you want a live chat with me, if not, the replay will be on. You can watch it anytime. And then we will see you back next week for another demo. Again, let me know on Instagram what you guys want to see. Thank you for coming and I hope you have a wonderful week.